All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic again, as you see in the title, is just to refute and answer the fabrication the Muslims or the Muhammadan they always come with. Uh, you know, as most of you knows already, I have books written uh, to refute and to not only to refute to show how stupid uh, the cult of Islam is, because each scientific miracle the Muslims they claim it exists in the Quran or in the hadith of Muhammad uh, uh, when you uh, when you have little knowledge about Islam you will know that it is totally the opposite so what the Muslims they do they flip upside down what is a stupid to be smart and they make what is fiction and madness and stupidity uh, to be uh, science and for sure the purpose of all of this uh, propaganda is just a fool the foolish one who have no knowledge about this cult and today is just another story for uh, you know uh, those claims we saw you know thousands of videos made by Muslims however always if you if any one of you would like to have uh, uh, like a, a handy book uh, which is explained in details about not only refuting the Muslim claimed science but uh, you know showing you how it is stupid and how it is the opposite you can go and get my books from amazon.com and they are translated in other languages not only in english uh, the, the two books they complete each other deception of allah and quran and science however both of them even the second one is the one called quran and science in depth uh, both of them they refute the muslims uh, what it's called science and as i said the purpose is not really refuting only it shows you how crazy it is and you will die from laughing about this comedy and who this uh, guy who claimed to be a prophet of God and today we are going to do the same we are going to show you how stupid this religion is and how uh, 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 the, how, the, how the Muslims turn the comedy of Muhammad to make it look like something serious Muhammad is speaking about science and when Muhammad speak about science you will not be able to hold yourself from laughing and you might even have, uh, uh, you might be shocking from, from laughing too much. So let us see together what the Muslims they say and how much accurate. And can we trust Muslims claiming that Islam or the religion of Islam, the Quran or Muhammad, um, they brought science to us as they say. And please don't forget to, uh, you know, this is not my time to do the broadcast, which means it's not the usually around 4.30 p.m. New York time. I do my podcast, but I receive an, a text from a Muslim, and I said, "Let me let me do this video, so we can show the Abdul how we do the spanking." So the Muslims in their uh, website they were posting uh, tons of articles about Muhammad and this prophet, who have astonishing teaching and even scientific benefits of things you should do. Muhammad is the one who knows science. Muhammad is the one who brought science to exist. Muhammad is the one who knows what science is about 1400 years before anyone. And you will find thousands, if not tens of thousands, of articles written by Muslims about science in Islam. In two seconds, in two minutes, in 60 seconds, I can prove to you that Muhammad is. And officially an idiot he is the idiot of the village he is the joke of science and I'm not insulting I prove everything I say and here is my challenge any Muslim don't agree give me a call live on air in the front of us here let us see this is a hadith and the reason I'm going to talk about this hadith because the Muslim was talking about that the Prophet Islam talk about how the baby is created. <laughs> and I was saying to myself, Muhammad spoke truly about how the baby is created, but not as the Muslims they say in their speeches and their videos. The story is totally different. What you see in front of you, this is from sunnah.com. This is a pure Islamic website. I have nothing to do with it. This is not a Christian website. This is not a Hindu website. This is a 100% Muslim Muhammadan website. Translation is done by Muslims. 
publishing done by Muslims printing of the original books is done by Muslims collecting the hadith is done by the scholars of the Muslims and as you know I speak Arabic this is Arabic is my first language I do not need a translator however I will show you from the Muslim translation how Muhammad should be considered the idiot of the village it says here حدثنا أبو الوليد حدثنا etc etc رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الصادق وهو الصادق المصدوق <laughs> he is the truthful and he is the one who people believe in him so Muhammad is a, is, a, is telling the truth now this is what the Muslims say I'm going to show you the English one hold on إن أحدكم يجمع في بطن أمه أربعين يوما ثم علق مثل ذلك ثم يكون مضغة مثل ذلك I'm not going to translate. Let us read the Muslim translation. Because if I translate the Muslim, they say he's lying. You know, you know them. You know them. You know them. Hmm. Look with me here how the Muslims right away they did not tell us really anything about how the baby is created. Suddenly it says that the one of you. Is collected in the womb. It doesn't say womb. It says a button, which means uh, Billy, in his mother for forty days. But this is not really what Muhammad was saying. Let us see different hadith and different translation, and you will see how the translation uh, change. Uh, let us see here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Look. This is the same story, but here the translation is coming differently for a very simple reason. The Muslims could not hide it. I visited Abu, whatever, blah, 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 and I listened to blah, 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 and I heard the Messenger of Allah saying, the semen stays in the womb for 40 nights. Any Muslim is in town? If there is any Muslim in town is listening, which one of you Muslims believe really that Muhammad was telling the truth when he said that you are gathered in the belly of your mother, not the womb, huh? and you stay as a semen for 40 days? Do you think really that Muhammad was speaking science here or stupidity and why Muslims do not write article about the amazing discovery that the Prophet Muhammad he found this 1400 years ago that the semen stay as you Muslim translate in the womb hmm? for 40 days do even the same semen go to the womb to do what is a tourist and the semen stay in the womb 40 days now here you have to you have to convince yourself to say well I'm not going to believe in this and the Muslim right away they will say to you I don't believe in this this is hadith but this is my friend this is Sahih Muslim this is Sahih Muslim Sahih Muslim and Sahih al-Bukhari is one of the most important books in Islam and this is an accurate authentic <coughs> excuse me reported hadith so the question is here if Muhammad is a true prophet why he is claiming such a knowledge you see like I can be a prophet of God and I do not need to know about medicine and how the baby is created I mean this is not I mean, why why I am telling people a lie and I don't know because obviously it's a lie you know obviously Muhammad he have always something weird about him look like he is trying his best uh, to to make people believe that he is a prophet of God and it doesn't matter what is the price or what is the reason to believe in him that he is a prophet of God 
nobody is asking you to tell me about science you're a prophet of God tell me about God but because Muhammad based in my study of this man he loved to speak that he is the one who knows everything if you remember when they ask him when he asked as a friend he, he he voluntarily like he it's like he is looking for a fight but this fight here he want to show off himself like I know if you remember when Muhammad he said do you know where the Sun goes I mean why you are talking about something you do not know where the Sun goes huh where the Sun goes do you know where the Sun goes Hey, no prophet I do not know the sun no do you know where yeah I know where the sun goes where okay where the sun goes the sun goes and the sun uh, you know uh, set in the murky water how you say such a thing how a prophet of God he say such a stupid thing the sun go and sit in a spring of warm hot water I mean can't you shut your shut, shut up your mouth you are not required you know you can be a prophet of God without knowing those things but Muhammad he wanted to blind people around him and he claimed that he knew so he always have to mention stories claiming that it is coming as a knowledge from God specifically to him like it's a special license of knowledge and then Muhammad you will see uh, he liked to be the first in everything he is the one who knows where the Sun goes he is the one who knows where the baby is coming from he is the like the baby according to Islam actually like here it says a semen right the semen stays for 40 nights and then the angel came and give it a shape which is not really you know stupid Actually, even he contradicts himself in different hadith. He says that uh, 40 days as semen, 40 days as a, uh, as a, uh, a clot, 40 days as a uh, uh, you know, like a piece of meat, 40 days, 40 days, 40 days, 120 days, you know. And then the angel come and he asks Allah, What do you want him, Allah, male or female? This is false. What Allah will ask at the end, the angel will ask, Male or female. Is that is that really how how science work after he is fashioned he asked Allah should I make him male or female <laughs> this is not what science says the gender of the baby is the, you know is is like is, is decided immediately not later male or female so everything Muhammad he say it is a pure stupid far away from any kind of science as an example when Muhammad he claimed knowledge about a human being and when he says that women they are half a brain you see the the, the Abdul what his name nightmare he said it doesn't say you liar it doesn't say in the hadith that they are uh, you know they have deficiency in their brain the word in the front of us it says naqisat wa aqlin wa deen their brain have deficiency they are less they are half a brain and how I say half a brain here it says naqisat naqisat it's mean they have a lower lower down they, they don't have a full brain how I say it's half because Muhammad the answer he said the women two women are equal to one man which mean one man brain is equal to two women brain and then Muhammad he claimed just because they are women that will make them half a brain which is very stupid there's many women they are genius who said that because you have a private part of a man would make you a, a smart man there's many donkeys and the Muslim they start trying to explain to you oh you know women they are emotional a man is emotional who said that man is emotional? there's men they kill they kill they kill their uh, uh, you know fiance or wife just because they are jealous this is based on what emotion stupid emotion who said that men they are not emotional is this all is based on science that women she is half a brain and she have uh, uh, she cannot remember things and she have no wisdom and she have a lack of intellect or this is all is fiction obviously it's stupid 
based on science women memory especially when it's come to details it is a lot better than a man you take a man to a party and you take a woman and then you see ask each one of them what he ate he don't, the man he don't even remember what he ate what but who who was sitting in his table he don't remember anything the women she will tell you what people they were wearing what perfume what the bride she was wearing as a ring uh, what color uh, what she did what she said or her hairstyle she will tell you things you will not even believe it the man he is the last the last thing he he don't even care, don't remember what he ate it is a lie but yet he claimed knowledge. He knew that women, they are half a brain. This is scientific discovery. And they have a lack of intellect. And not only that, he claimed that because women, they have a period, they will go to heaven, which is make it even more funny. Because isn't it Allah supposedly is the one who created them and he made them having a period? And if somebody, let us say, for the sake of uh, uh, discussion, if you notice with me here, you will notice right away from this hadith in the front of you that when Muhammad he decided that the most of women they will go to hell because they have a lack of intellect, lack deficiency of her intellect. Remember, this is the Muslim translation, not mine. I'm just showing you what is the Muslim saying. And religion okay the lack of intellect supposedly is a defect in her brain the lack of religion is that she have period I mean who is the stupid in this earth can believe in such a garbage women she will go to hell because she have a deficiency in her brain and she is going to go to hell additional to that because she have a, 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 a deficiency in her religion and what is the deficiency don't you have a menstruation so if a woman she have her period that is a def deficiency in religion look I mean guys both those things let us say for the sake of argument they are true let us say the women she have a lack of intelligent hmm? just to make the, the, the Abdul happy huh? is that a reason to go to hell I mean if let us say I'm born it's crazy crazy what is my fault if Allah is the one who created me he will send me to hell because I have deficiency in intellect <laughs> And did the women choose to have her period? Like, what is the what is the deficiency here? Obviously, the one who have a real deficiency is the one who is saying what he is saying. So, is that based on science, or this is based on stupidity? Obviously, it's based on stupidity and abuse of women. Muhammad always he you know he gave the power for men because he cared for a warrior fighter who want to kill. And the women, she became, you know, just a sick toy. Uh, you know, you have four of them. You can divorce as many. You marry as many. You can have as many as you wish of uh, 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 slaves to have, to have sex with them. It, he, she is just for entertainment. You know, I, I don't like to talk about myself, but I have a mother. She have a brain of, if I say a thousand men, you will not believe it. She used to ask me questions about my law books. She read them all. She know them all. She knew the Bible from co from cover to cover. You say to her one sentence, she said the rest to you, and she explain and give interpretation to the bishop, correcting him. What half a brain? You give her five, six numbers. You cal you are you are using calculator. She give you the answer before even you finish. What half a brain, you idiot? What are you talking about? So the one who have a deficiency is the one who believe in such a deficient. I don't know. I don't know what the word, the correct word to say in English. The one who believe in this Muhammad, he is the one who have a deficiency. You have to be stupid, officially stupid, certified stupid. The sun go and sit in the murky water. The man, his sperm coming from the backbone. And the women's sperm coming from her ribs. A women have a sperm since when?
what's wrong for those you know and the funny the muslim they repeat a lie and they spread the lie and then after repeating the lie they believe the lie anyway I miss the old days the old days when I was a sperm and I stayed in the womb of my mother for 40 days as a sperm <laughs> I mean how Muhammad he knew this that's astonishing that's too much and you know Muhammad the person who knows about everything and he knows what Allah care for as an example like I sometimes I ask myself uh, I, I saw a post on Facebook actually uh, Somebody is repeating my question uh, He said why Allah care if we wash or clean our ass with the three rocks. I mean, what is his business? <laughs> I mean this God, you know guys, do you know how big this earth and space the earth is not even a dust compared to the space to the galaxies we are in but Allah he is so worried about the number of rocks you will use to clean your anus with and do you see how much Allah is so much into details he is in he put here his nose in the business of your anus this this is God and this is a prophet and this is a religion if you go to the bathroom you have to shake your penis three times and we were the business of Allah to shake your penis three times and you know when you hear Muslim they say to you oh this is about being clean my friend what the clean my friend Muhammad he used to be full of lies Muhammad he used to take a shower in a dead with, with dead dogs you know like the Muslim they they, they tell you the Prophet he taught us everything, including how to do. Excuse my language; I'm just translating. Uh, including how to do shit. I'm not exaggerating. I can show you the hadith exactly what it says, including how to do shit. And the Muslim they claim that Muhammad was a person that was, he was the master of cleaning. That this guy is so clean. I mean, he's so so clean. But my friend. It was the opposite. Muhammad used to be full of lies, dirty, stinky, and read with me carefully. This is the story reported by the Muslims, written by the Muslims, gathered by the Muslims, translated by the Muslims. It's in the front of you in the screen. Do you see it? Be'er Buda. Is a wheel of dirt it's a sewage simply it's not really a wheel it's a hole in the ground and all dirty water of the town go there it's like low ground where the, it's, it's like a, you know a, a low ground dirt water garbage people throw in it and this is what is reported by the Muslims themselves so people they were saying to him prophet why you are showering yourself with this water because nobody do it in the whole town nobody you see if everybody do it nobody will be uh like wondering what this guy is doing but obviously this man have a mental illness why in the world muhammad when a jump in a water has the following dead dogs women period and a stinking garbage Anyone can tell me? Is that scientifically healthy? Is that the teacher of health that the Muslim they make article about healthy habit the Prophet he taught us? Well, I want to see Muslims jumping in a hole full of dirty water. As you see, it says a stinky. Not me saying that. I'm not the one to say the word is stinky. The word is stinky is not coming from my dictionary this is your website the dead dogs are not the one who throw them there later this is when your prophet 
he was taking his shower there women of blood from menstruation is a throwing with the diapers the, the the fabric the panties women panties is there women panties full of blood is there excuse my language dead dogs stinky even they are saying stinky how in the world muhammad he say when they ask him how you do that he said he replied water is pure and nothing make it dirty do you see it is that scientifically accurate huh huh I want to see Zakir Naik taking a shower in a and, and by the way this this uh, this little tiny water is like uh, six uh, uh, like uh, it's not like you know uh, maybe two meter wide you know it's, 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 it's very small and it's uh, it's not even the, the height of it is not even to the uh, uh, like to the, to, to, the, to the private part of a man so it's very small tiny water all of those things is inside it and nobody in town he do that except the madman Muhammad. Obviously, scientifically, this is very, very right. And the Muslim they say to us, Oh, you know, the the Western they are dirty, they use toilet paper. You, your prophet he used to use poopoo -poo to clean his ass, rocks, three rocks. I challenge Muslim to use the three rocks and let us see how they will smell. I, I challenge Muslim to use a stinky water as her prophet he did. Let us see. I mean, what kind of shower the shower is? What the what, it says here, perform ablution. What the point of this ablution if you are doing it with water full of menstruation of, of women, dead dogs, and stinking? Stinking. I mean, Muhammad, after the ablution, now supposedly he is cleaner. Is he really cleaner? So I wish we can get a selfie of Muhammad before and after the abolition. You can imagine how dirty he is. Because if a person trying to get clean, he jump in such a water. So what kind of a clean he is before? I mean, what kind of a dirt he have? Are you getting my point? For me to jump in such a water, which is described by the Muslims as stinky, women of blood from period. I don't know what, I mean, this is disgusting, my friend. Period? Blood? Dead dogs? What? And the Prophet supposedly now is trying to get it clean, so he jump in it? Hey, hey Muslim, what do you think? How will the Prophet smell after this beautiful shower? Do you think he really is, you smell Prophet, you smell good. Huh? And the Prophet, after he finished this shower, I can imagine him singing, I feel good. La 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 la. So good. Uh-huh. So good. Uh-huh. This is modern women of blood, period. Da -da 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 -da. What the heck? Or imagine the prophet taking a shower in such a dirty, filthy water, and he's singing, "This is how we do it." And the Muslim repeat after him, "This is how we do it." It's Sunnah. This is Sunnah, Prophet. Huh? Why the Why the Muslim don't repeat the Sunnah of the Prophet? You Muslim, you claim that you are Sunni, doing what the Prophet used to do. I want to see a Muslim doing a video. You see, I saw videos like uh, uh, ice challenge. Somebody throwing ice in his head. The other idiot, uh, fish in his head. The other stupid uh, tomato in his head. I mean, sal salsa in his head. Uh, stupid people. What if we see Muslims bringing some dead dogs, women panties full of blood from period, and a stinky water from the sewage, and then they throw it in, this, in, in the top of their head and following the sunnah of the prophet, which means the practice of the prophet. I want to see that. But obviously, you Muslims are not really convinced with your prophet. Hmm? Otherwise, you would do what he does. So I just wanted to, to make this video. I, I'm not. Um, I, I don't want to stay longer. Uh, but Muslims, stop lying to yourself. I mean, it's a shame. What prophet and science? What science? Your prophet is a prophet of science. Give me a break.
Who in the world will believe that the water is always a pure, nothing make it? If you remember, there is uh, uh, five Muslims, they made a video to refute me about this. And the one who made the video, his name is Osama Abdullah. You know, he said, uh, I want to say uh, thank you for the brother. Uh, he started saying the names of those who helped him to prepare the video to refute me. Now, he could not refute me during the debate. I made him shish kebab as usual. But later he decided to make a video just to get back some of his honor. So he said, first of all, the the prophet he used to be so clean and he used to clean himself from lies like you like what supposedly now he's trying to prove to me i'm wrong the prophet is so clean in fact he used to clean himself from lies i mean i'm very convinced now that the prophet was so clean do you see how clean the prophet he cleaned himself from lies and then he said uh, from the American blah 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 it says that the water when it's come from the ground it's purified and became clean what water came from the ground you eat it this is a this is a water is coming from the the sewage this is sewage this is not the spring of water <laughs> don't you see you idiot there is only one spring of water in Mecca only one one it's called Zamzam water there is priceless nobody will throw garbage in it if it is really a well of water which is coming from the ground this is a dump water dump idiot but the muslims they have they don't know what to do i mean their prophet is i, I mean name for me one thing stupid and crazy and mad muhammad did not do going in the grave of his auntie sleeping with her licking the face of boys Marrying baby child, telling the people to marry babies, promising them that they will have in they will have an endless penis. The prophet was bewitched. The prophet he imagined himself, in, but in fact he never did. I mean, the, the prophet imagined himself having sex, but in fact he never did. Can you tell me exactly what the details more like? What he was doing? He was holding the pillow. When the prophet he imagined himself that he had sex, but in fact he did not do it. He was doing what exactly? I want more details. If there is any Muslim, I mean, what's wrong with this man? There is nothing right with him. When I say what's wrong with this man, I mean this is wrong, wrong question. Nothing right with him. What do you mean nothing wrong? What, what's wrong? Nothing in the life of this man. Is normal and this is the only thing I have to agree about the Prophet continued and who is the one who report this his wife the one who she is with him in the bed she know the secret of all the you cannot tell me that the wife you do not know huh? this is Aisha the most trustworthy female in the house of Muhammad the Prophet continue for such and as such what the such and such mean what is the date date period imagining that he had sex sexual intel calls with his wives but in fact he did not uh, maybe the prophet he was imagining this situation that he had sex with his wife during the time he was washing himself with the dirty water full of women panty and period <laughs> the smell made him excited and he felt like he is having sex now what is that man? What is left? Madman, crazy, stupid, liar, thief, womanizer. He go to his own son and he flirt with the wife while she is married. I mean, what is left? Don't say yuck, my friend. If the prophet he did it, it's mean it's very nice and fun. Don't say yuck. The prophet knows best you will not know how fun it is to take a shower with women blood from period and dead dogs and stinky water unless you try did you try it did you try it here we go you did not try it so how you know it's yuck please be scientifically correct have you ever tried 
to imagine yourself having sex with your wife if in fact you never never did you did not do it it might be even nicer you know try it don't judge for the cover from the book the book from the cover <laughs> by, the, by the cover <laughs> try it my friend what's wrong with you don't 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 be judgmental you know like and the funny people by the way they say I don't like to judge and what do you mean like that? you have to judge everything in life it, it, there is a, something in the society today uh, you know like they say to you open be open-minded hey my brother uh, if somebody want to have sex with your wife are you open-minded I mean what's open-minded mean what's open-minded mean people became I mean I don't know like the people they lost the taste the spirit they became copy paste like the bacteria, you know. Be open minded. Okay, I want to take your cell phone. Can you be open minded and give it to me? Huh? Uh, I'm going to move my bed tomorrow to your house and kick you out. Be open minded. I'm going to sleep next to your wife. You come home, you find me next to her. Uh, I, be open minded. And this is the same when some of those left minded people they speak about Islam. The second you start talking about Islam, they say to you, oh, this guy is teaching hate, he is racist. Racist what, you idiot? What race we are talking about? What is the race we are talking about? Imagine, in certain time, the Muslims, they accuse me, I hate the Arab. I am an Arab. <laughs> this guy, I know you hate the Arab. You idiot, I am an Arab. <laughs> You hate the Arab. <laughs> uh, uh, they accuse, you know, like imagine, imagine a black guy, you accuse him to hate African. I, I am an African. <laughs> uh, but because they are out of choice, I mean, what they can do? What they can do, that they are out of options. They don't know that this guy is an Arab, so they accuse him that he hate Arab. <laughs> Actually, in Facebook, I was answering somebody he said to me do you even know Arabic <laughs> you will not know the true answer unless you know Arabic <laughs> and and when I told him I am an Arab he said you are right <laughs> anyway my friend life is beautiful especially after you see what happened with Muhammad you said to yourself thank you God I am not Muhammad Imagine you have 13 wives at least and God knows how many sex slaves yet you are instead of having sex with those women you are imagining yourself <laughs> having sex but in fact you never did <laughs> and I and they say to me how come the, the prophet he never have kids you know the Muslim they say that Muhammad have a children the fact Muhammad never have a children even those daughters they are the daughters of Khadija Khadija she had many husbands before Muhammad this is why she adopted a, a, a guy. His name is Yazid. Uh, the 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 boy. Uh, there's a Moroccan guy. He posted in uh, in YouTube comment, uh, or video, saying, uh, "Is stupid. The one who adopted Zaid, it was the Prophet Muhammad. N no, the one who adopted Zaid, it was Khadija, because she gave up on Muhammad. He cannot do it, and he cannot have babies. Anyway." Uh, Semen stay for 40 days in the belly of the mother. And the question is, why not 41? I mean, why Muhammad always is stuck with those numbers? 7, 40. Is he trying to copy somebody? 3, 70. You know, who is the one who mentioned number 70? Uh, Jesus, huh? Who is the one who mentioned number seven? Who is the one who mentioned number three? Who is 40? Jesus fast for 40 days. I mean, there is numbers, Muhammad. He, not only he fabricated stories, but even he copied certain numbers to claim authority. You see, those numbers have an impact somewhere. So the semen stays in the womb for 40 nights. I mean, you know, 
I always ask myself when I was a seaman what I was doing for 40 night in the womb of my mother I mean at that time there's no cell phone no internet I mean how boring it is to stay there as a seaman not as a baby as a seaman doing nothing like you know I mean for 40 days what he was he was looking for direction he lost the map he was inside the womb for 40 days what he like what he he, he took the wrong exit <laughs> <laughs> oh boy anyway so my friend don't tell me about the prophet science and, and by the way Muslims don't think we are talking about the hadith to show you only how stupid your prophet from the hadith we can go to the Quran however you can challenge me and we can show you but I feel sorry for you if you try anyway uh, <clears throat> We we will not uh, stay here for long today. I just wanted to share this uh, video. Uh, I made a video about women rights in Islam two days ago. I hope you guys you download it and share it around. And the same for this video too. Feel free to download and share my videos. My videos always is available for everybody. I'm not like those who get upset if somebody put their videos in their channel because all what people care for is getting more subscription. I will be happy if you have 10 times more subscription than me because my point is to spread the message I don't care how many people subscribe to me I don't care if they listen to my video in your channel or my channel actually I don't care even if I have a channel or not the point is how I can spread the truth and the truth will set you free so feel free always to download my videos post them there and it doesn't hurt you if you can post a link to lead people how to come find me and how they can uh, watch live in my channel, if you don't mind. Uh, do we have any Muslim would like to call? Do we have any Muslim would like to call? We have a discount today. Any Muslim? We are. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot. Today is a semen day, so the Muslims are in. The, uh, they will stay away for forty days as semen, and then they will come back. And then uh, after Allah, He fashion you and He make you in a shape. At the end, you see, even even here, look at the stage. After Allah, He fashion you. You are fashioned now already. You have a shape. Then the angel he asked Allah at the end, at the end, like, should we should, should we add penis or we make a excuse my language a hole there? But that's it. I said, I said, I'll keep with him. And I know I'm a doctor, I am officially a doctor, I have a degree in medicine, according to science. You are all created, all of you, and at the end, suddenly, either you will have a hole or you will have a penis. And that because, my friend, based in the hadith, it said that the angel of Allah without Allah, God, male or female. Thank you very much. <laughs> what male or female? <laughs> at the end, is that, is, is that like love? <laughs> You know, when you make a car, the 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 the, th the last thing they put is the bumper. Is that the bumper? What do you mean at the end? So now you are fashioned. At the end, they put for you. They they decide for you, male or female. And suddenly, like if they decide you are a male, suddenly something will start to grow in there. Like what is that? Mashallah, brother. Mashallah. Look, the, his penis is growing. <laughs> Too much, too much. I mean, this is so good, man. This is a pure science. This is a pure science. The last thing is male and female. Abdul, based on science, that is decided already. When the sperm go into the egg, it's already known if it's going to be male or female, you idiot. What do you mean the last thing, male and female? Can somebody tell Muhammad to stop talking? A Muslim, he would be asking himself, why our Prophet keep talking? I mean, should, can't you just 
put some gum in your mouth take a break man the more he talk the more he do poo poo do we have any muslim here do we have any muslim would like to call Not even one. My Skype is open. No. Okay. I give you a chance. I give you a chance to call me, correct me, get me busted, uh, prove to me that a human being stay as a sperm for forty days. I mean, do your best, but you don't want to do it. Their world have no power. You are my my. What are you talking about? I was listening to an art uh, to a speech. Uh, just, just just to show you something. You know that there is a war in Syria, right? <clears throat> uh, Syrian uh, army, the official government army, attacking the area. It's called Al Ghuta. Which is, uh, uh, which is close to the city of Damascus, and the sheikh. This is like two month old speech. Allah will give us victory. Allah, blah, blah, akbar, blah, and he was quoting those hadith in the front of us, and the 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 scholars. They were there is tons of speeches in YouTube about it. Every Muslim clerics he starts saying that this is the prophecy of the prophet. This is the end of the world and here and look what they say that here that the Roman and the Muslims They will unite together To fight the bad one the, the room who is the Roman there is no Roman left as I know What is the Roman who is the Roman the, the Italian? What? <laughs> <laughs> However, two months ago, every scam back in this earth start talking about those hadith that those hadith must be true, and they are very accurate. However, this hadith is full of mistakes, because according to Muhammad the idiot, he said that uh, uh, in different hadith, not this one, that this the Damascus is one of the cities of Al Ghuta. I will look for it. Uh, and here was supposedly the Muslims uh, You know will have like a big assembly to attack the enemies and The victory is coming. That's that's it. This is the prophecy of the prophet is happening Today is March 26 the Muslims in Al-Ghuta been defeated in a very extremely harsh way and Allah Akbar he could not survive in the front of Putin Akbar. You see, Putin Akbar is proven to be a potato. So the Mujahideen, more than 200,000 fighter, 200,000 fighter, they've been defeated in less than two or three weeks by the Russian. And you know, like people, they say, the, you know, uh, Syrian army Iran all of, us, all of us we know the one who is defeating them is the Russian same as Isis not the American not anyone The question is for the Muslims All the Mujahideen you have Isis and Allahu Akbar and all the speeches about the version and victory and Allah will grant the Muslim victory What happened? What happened? Why Putin Akbar he was able to win the war and he defeated you in a very harsh way He made it a joke of everybody Putin right now is the king of Syria He is the real king this guy is Amazing He defeated the Muslims in the same time every Muslim king right now is kissing his shoes actually today as we speak the Prince of Qatar the member of the Muslim Brotherhood, the leader in Al Qaeda, he is kissing the shoes of Putin today as we speak in Moscow. I don't want to change topic and talk about politics, but
but I wanted to see to, to show the Muslims that your God Allah is deaf the Mujahideen one day maybe they won the war because they were savage not because God was victorious in your side at that time if you are a savage you win the same as the Tatar when they came to the Muslims they, they defeat them easy why did the Tatar, Tatar defeated the Muslims and destroyed the, the Abbasi Caliphate because they were more savage than the Muslims for that time it was a war by sword and the one is more savage he win the wild man the Tatar they take a shower once every six months or a year they even until now they drink blood of horses more savage they won the war you did not win the war before because you are sponsored by God you win the war because you are a savage person today your savagery it doesn't help you because a guy in airplane who is wearing a suit smoking a cigarette huh? he can destroy thousands of you and if not millions it is not Allah Akbar who is going to provide you or is going to provide you anything Allah is not providing you internet or electricity or cars or phones Allah provide you nothing even your weapon Muslims is made by the kuffar your defense system is based on them the, the crown prince he came to store to USA just I think he's still here or maybe he left I'm not sure you know he spent half of his budget here just to, for defense where is Allah Akbar this is Saudi Arabia why why Mecca need the awaks of USA why Mecca need the F30 uh, uh, 30 of USA why why Mecca need the battery out? Well, Allah will defend them. Where is Allah? Where is Allah the one who sent in the Quran in the chapter of the elephant? Birds who carry stones. Where, do, where are they? How come we see the F-16 flying and etc. in Saudi Arabia, but we don't see the flying birds of Allah to defend Mecca? You come, you put half of your money in the pocket of the kuffar to buy rubbish uh, I'm, I'm telling you this is rubbish i mean the american they will not sell them a real weapon this is a weapon they can fight with at iran but they cannot fight anyone for real they cannot fight america this is our own weapon they will uh, always any country they will not sell a, a weapon which can be uh, more powerful than the weapon their army have but Muslims are mm, living in different world, you know. They have. Uh, have you ever dive under the water? When you dive under the water, you feel truly they are in different world, you know. For the first time, you see how it what it's mean to be a fish. Now the Muslim is the same as a fish, but he is living in a murky water. And because it's very murky, this fish is blind. And because the fish is blind, she think what she think. She believe what she believe, but she don't see. Everything around them proving that Islam is false. But yet you lie, they lie about themselves. As an example, the, the Muslim, they say to you, the Mujahideen in Afghanistan, they won the war against the Soviet Union. This is a big fat lie. It was the CIA, my friend, who gave you very powerful missiles to take their helicopter down. You did not defeat the Soviet Union, a bunch of idiots. This is a war run by USA. They don't want to see and they are amazingly blind and they love to be blind. You show them that their prophet, he said, the woman, she have a sperm from her ribs. Still, they say to you, so? What well, does the woman have no sperm, my friend? So? What do you mean, so? The prophet, he said, the semen stay 40 days in the in the womb of the, of the mother. So?
as you as you, you just said nothing you know they fool themselves but this is not only I mean not the this scenario is not always the same scenario there's many Muslims who they listen and they leave Islam and they know that this man is a crazy guy and I actually I noticed that the numbers of people who they are leaving Islam is increasing in a very dramatic way especially between Arab you know because Arab uh, especially after the last seven years the war in Syria Iraq etc most of people who they are Arab they were truly disgusted because of Islam many of them they thought Islam is something different you see those who uh, they defend Islam <clears throat> they defend Islam because they don't they don't live in under Islam never go and ask a Muslim who live in Iran about Islam he will tell you how disgusting it is he cannot wait until he got out of Iran or get rid of the regime of the mullahs go ask the Saudi who live in Saudi Arabia why your vacation is not in Saudi Arabia why you cannot wait to save some money and go vacation in different country because they are not happy with Islam in Saudi Arabia this is why this crown prince trying to change his country to make it a country like every country his country is a, is a trashy country more than 70 to 80 percent of the population do not know even how to read how to write and the real reason is Islam the more Islam is exist in a country the more it's going back to the cave time this is why you notice that the more Islam is very strict the where the more the people are savage and beyond any civilization back as an example Taliban Afghanistan the more people are far away from Islam the war the more they are advanced as an example Imarat Imarat the prince he claimed to be a Muslim but you know, there is bars there is um, night clubs Women, they go in the beach with their bikini. You can dance. You can do whatever you want. You know, Marat. It's like Las Vegas. But if this guy he decided to make his town Mecca, Marat will turn a ghost town overnight. Yeah, this is the Crown Prince. He changed a lot, actually. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia now. He stopped the Saudi police, the, the Islamic police, from going in the street and beating people. Nobody can beat anyone. Uh, they have no authority no more as before. Women, they can drive. And now they are giving the women the right to go for to, to work in the government, like in certain jobs, which was she was forbidden. So it looked like this crown prince is doing his best to make his country uh, free itself from Islam. But I don't know if he can really do it. And I'm afraid they might you know assassinate him because you can imagine how many crazy Muslims are angry from the smell right now for what he did uh, actually last week I think he opened the first uh, theater and that was that's right uh, that's really crazy in Saudi Arabia theater in Saudi Arabia are you crazy so and they want to invite singers and for them make parties uh, so this guy he's trying to do a lot of things and I hope he will I, I, I really pray that this man will be successful you know but I am afraid that the Muslims the one the, the crazy ones they might try to assassinate him you know uh, otherwise he is trying uh, he's trying his best to change and actually I, I myself I was surprised about what he did because I thought they will kill him from the first day if he announced what he announced but look like until now he's in control you know and we will see uh, But this is all is not enough because you see to to free society is not just by making a, a woman drive a car What the benefit of a woman driving a car if she can't buy a car unless her parents or her husband approve buying the car? <laughs> you know what I mean You can drive But you need the approval of the husband so still there's a lot of things in the way in order to to improve uh, You know uh, this those countries however Islam whatever it is if you take Islam to Europe Europe is not Europe no more Europe is not Europe because of just uh, you know uh, you know like a changing languages no 
this religion, wherever it goes, the country will go down. If you go in London and you go to the most Islamic area, you will see the garbage, the, gra the graffiti, the dirt, the illegal stuff. You want to buy a uh, stolen software, you want to buy a stolen phone, you want to buy a stolen passport, just go to the Muslim area. And this is the case in everywhere in the world. Yeah, and people in, in jail. Number one customers in jail in Europe are Muslims. Like in France, uh, uh, the, the, the population of Muslims in jail more than 20%. Uh, well, why they are 20%? No? Uh, if you go to, to, uh, to Asia, as an example, in the Philippines, I went in the market, all the, all the place there is Muslims. CD, any, any CD you want for a dollar. Window, Microsoft, Photoshop, anything. Everything is a theft. You will not find one single computer in the Islamic world is not a theft software. All of it is a stolen software. From window to any other software, they have it. Microsoft Word, Window, you name it. And nobody feel guilty. All right. Now, anyone have a question? Any Abdul here have a question? I hope we answer this. And I'm going to call my mom to ask her if she can remember some stories she told me during the time I was as a seaman in her womb for 40 days. I want to know what she was talking about at that time. Do I remember anything? Did anything happen? <laughs> Amazing prophet. How would the prophet know this? Oof, you prophet is so you must be a great prophet. You are the best prophet Muhammad How you know that huh? How you know that? Hmm? Or what about the prophet saying if a man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy if a woman have orgasm first the baby will be a girl and now each one of us he knew or she knew Who is the one come first your mother or your daddy? By the way, give them a call Hey, call your mom. He say, Mom, guess what? What? I want to tell you something. You cannot believe it. What? I know when you had sex with my dad and made me, who is the one who come first? What? How do you know that? The Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad, he taught us that the one who have orgasm first is going to be the baby. If it's a woman, it's going to be the baby a girl. So before, you know, before you tell me this is not the true, listen carefully. I mean, your, your woman, your mother, she will be astonished, like, wow! She might convert to Islam right away. Do it, do it. Call your mom, call your dad. If you are a female, call your mom, tell her, mom, I know you are the one who have orgasm first. And she will like, oh, wow! How you know? Mom, everything is written there. Where? In the hadith, don't you know? And your mom, like she will pull her hair out. That's amazing. Maybe the Prophet Muhammad he was putting a like a web camera or something spying at us. No, mom. No, God told him it is God. The one who comes first is in control. This is why if I get married ever, huh, I will never have orgasm first. Excuse my language, because I don't want my son to look like me because simply the son will look like you. He will be a boy and he will look like you. And he imagine my son look like me. I mean, this is disgusting, man. That's not even fair for him. So I will be sure that if I ever get married, that only my wife, she can do it. Hmm? And later, I can finish later. I will take my time just to be sure that my son will not curse me for looking like his father. I mean, that's as really, God forbid, God forbid. Muslims, I don't know what to say. Your prophet is so amazing. He is so astonishing and so cute. I mean, imagine if a Christian prince was exist in the time of the prophet and he is listening to him when he said this. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. What do you think I would do if I was there? Hmm? Hmm? Just in, but it's a wish, but too bad. At that time, there was no video cameras. Imagine we have Muhammad in tape saying those things. Man, oh man. 
Oh, oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy, true. Mama, mommy, blue. Muhammad will blow your mind. Muhammad behind the microphone and a billion Muslims sitting in front of him and the Prophet Muhammad telling his followers, brothers and sisters, you, when you used to be as a sperm, you stayed in the mother, you, you the, mother, you, the womb, you were your mother for 40 days round the trip. 40 days as a sperm. What happened to uh, Ali, Baba, and the 40 thief? Did they stay in the womb too, 40 days, each one of them? Ah, now I know why it is 40 thief, Ali, Baba, and the four. It was the original is Ali, Baba, and the 40 days. Yeah. <clears throat> Any Abdul? What's wrong in this text? I'm looking at the text, people giving hugs to each other. Look what I'm talking about, and people giving hugs. Yesterday I received two donations as hugs and one donation as kiss. I mean, what I would do with that? Hugs, kiss, uh, hello, show respect, please. What is that? Oh, hugs. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, focus, focus with me. What, what, what are you guys doing in the text? I'm looking at the text, I'll get confused. You know, already, I, already I've been in the womb of my mother for 40 days. Don't make it harsh on me. I mean, that will make it really, like Im imagine 40 days, 40 nights, and 10 hugs. I mean, that's too much. Enough is enough. 40 night, imagine you've been there for 40 nights swimming. Don't the sperm get tired from swimming for 40, 40 nights? And why, why he said 40 nights, not 40 days? Ah, here we go, another scientific discovery. Do you know why the prophet, he said 40 nights? Anyone? Why the prophet, he said 40 nights, not 40 days? Why? Who knows? Hmm? Let us see who is the one of you is, is excellence, excellent and intelligent intelligence anyone knows why he said 40 nights yeah i have a link i have a link under the video for donation go and give me 10 hugs and five uh, uh five hello no because look look at the science here i will make i will do what the muslims do uh, discover science of islam brother when the sperm is inside the belly, do you think there is a light there? No. So it is night. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, Abdul, why Why it's 40 nights? I mean, why it's not 40 days? What does that what, what 40 nights mean? Do, is time is cal calculated by nights? or what, what does that mean, 40 nights? There is no day. There is no night there. What a difference. 40 nights? Well, what is that? I don't know. The prophet says 40 night. It's 40 night, obviously, because it's so dark there. Unless your mom, she swallows some, uh, you know, uh, what they call it, this uh, shiny thing, liquid. Uh, th there is actually, there is a, uh, there's alcohol which is shiny. I don't know. I saw it once. I saw it in the movie. It looked like it's shiny. I don't know what they call it. I'm not expert. The only, the only drink I know is Hennekin. I go in the airplane, she asked me, I say beer. She said, what kind? I don't know any kind of beer. I say anything, I say Hennekin, Hennekin, you know? Last time I went to China, not, not actually, not this time, the one before it. I, the, 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 uh, the lady in the airplane, she don't speak English at all. So I said, bring me some water. So she went and she came back with big, huge Chinese beer. I said to myself, okay, I'm really thirsty. I will drink it. Okay. It's a huge. I'm not used to drink that, you know. And then after like, you know, a half hour, I really, I need water. So I said to her again, can you bring me water? She went and she came back with a, 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 the second beer. Additionally, a huge, big beer. <laughs> I said to her, water, water. This is beer. She said, sir, yes, yes, yes. But yes, this is beer. Anyway, I took the second beer. 
And I, you know, she don't know. So at the end, I went and get I get my uh, my water by myself because I say water she bring me beer. Uh, I think I think this lady she was in the womb of her mother for sure for forty nights. That's why she could not recognize the difference between uh, the beer and the water. Anyway, any Abdul? <clears throat> any Abdul there? Do you see how we are trying to get Abdul and we are not getting any response from any Abdul? Why? Can I call and ask CP a question? Yeah, I can, you can call, but don't give hugs, okay? Questions only. Go ahead. <coughs> we are going to receive uh, a phone call from half a brain person because the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, said that women, they are half a brain. So let us see the question coming from half brain. Is it going to be a full question or is it going to be a half question? We will see in a few moments from now. Call us. Our phone number is 0002070500. I did not get any call. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you know, you can imagine. A woman, she's trying to make a call. It's going to take her 10 seconds uh, to find to find Skype and it's going to take her 10 minutes to put lipstick and then eyelashes and then make up 10 hours. So I think we better go and come back tomorrow and then we will get the call. I mean, according to Muhammad, they are half a brain. That's what they say, right? <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> Hello. Hey, CP. Thanks for taking my call. I did not take your call. I did not receive it yet. Where it is? <laughs> okay. All right. What do you want to say to us? I have a question for you. Since we're on the topic about um, sperm and whatnot from the Quran. I mean, somebody um, told you I am a doctor and my specialty is a sperm. I mean, come on. <laughs> Doctor CP. Okay. Okay. <laughs> But my question is, uh, there are some Western Muslims that don't speak Arabic, and they have funny interpretations of what the text says. Mm. For instance, the the ayah that talks about, you know, um, sperm coming between the backbone and the ribs. They'll mm. try to say the word loins in Arabic can refer to the the man's area. Since you speak Arabic fluently, how would you refute someone? I like it when she said the man's area. I mean, do you see, guys? <laughs> Finally, we have areas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep it G. I know, I know, I know. I get you, I get you. Thank you. You're, you're smart. You're, you know how to uh, like to put it there. Anyway, <laughs> the 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 word in Arabic here it says solb solb. Uh, first of all, the word solb is coming from something is uh, solid. Uh, like uh, you know, uh, we say uh, like uh, iron is solb. Uh, rocks. Or you know anything is very solid is called solve however when it's come to the uh, human body part the word solve mean the last bone in the back uh, of the person uh, you know the spine of the man or the human being the last bone at the end which look like the, almost like a tail you know let us say the, the last one at the end I don't know what they call it in English coxus Thank you very much. You know, you are helping me with, with my, you know, my English is funny, like in the second neck sometimes. <laughs> so this is exactly what a solve is, is the last bone in the back of the human being spine. And according to Muhammad, that the, the sperm is coming from that bone, you know, it's mm. not an area, it's not a location, it is a bone. All right. Um, uh, I think I think the reason Muhammad he come to this conclusion that uh, people they notice that men who is suffering from sexual disability or etc they feel uh, some pain in their back or etc so they thought maybe that this is where the sperm is coming from and however the Muslims when they say such a thing we can go and see the interpretation of the uh, uh, of uh, the verse. Then you will see that all the Muslims agree that this is the, the the sperm of the women coming from the ribs of the women, specifically the location of the necklace, 
and the sperm of the man is are you doing your lipstick what are you doing your lipstick am i doing what lipstick <laughs> i hear something i don't understand <laughs> <laughs> lipstick yeah i'm just joking <laughs> oh. <laughs> Focus, focus, when you because I don't hear you no more. I took you are, are gone. Uh, so, if you go here, <clears throat> I always joke. Don't be offended, okay? You know me. Oh, I'm not offended. Yeah. I just didn't understand your Arabic English. She is making fun of my Arabic English. Now. Do you <laughs> believe it? Okay, I see. So, if we go to chapter eighty-six, verse number seven. And this is the Muslim interpretation, not ours. Okay, do you see it? Now it says yeah. the uh, issued from between the, here the with the word uh, like, actually in, in in Arabic it says sulb, which is the bone. They should not come and say the loins, the bones of the man, which the last bone of the uh, of the. Uh, as you see here, both part of the verse speaking about bones. You notice know with me, the ribs of the women are bones. Correct. Mm -hmm. And here is the bones of the man too. So if the first one is not bones, why the second one is bones? That makes sense. And the ribs here are not only ribs; is the upper side of the ribs of the women, which means the exactly the location of the necklace. And we can show the Muslims from the Arabic reference what that, uh, uh, you know, uh, what that uh, taraib or taraib mean. It means specifically the location of the of the necklace. So the Muslim they say it does not mean they have to prove it to us where it gets from. Why all the Muslim scholars understood this in as we see in the front of us, but they say the opposite. You know? Good question. Yeah, and in the same time, how in the world they want to explain to us that women have a sperm anyway, and the sperm is coming from the ribs? You know, well, yeah. who is the scientist who said that? Let us say, let us say, for the sake of argument, the first one was not wrong. What about the second part? What ribs of the women? Women, she have gushing fluid coming from her ribs. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, imagine a, a, a guy he is married and he is his wife, his wife with him, and he said to her, "My wife." The best part of you is your ribs. She said, well, "Honey, why are you a dog or something? Why you like ribs? You want to do me? You want to make me a barbecue? Or what? What do you mean ribs?" <laughs> she, he would say, "Because the babies is coming from there. It's from your ribs." And I absolutely like, ridiculous. Yeah. So babies and ribs, women ribs, and women don't have a sperm. So if you if you read the verse before, it says. You know, it's it's described that this is a sexual fluid. All right, and Allah is saying supposedly that this is where you are created from, from that fluid. So the question is for the Muslims: What is the fluid coming from the ribs of a woman creating the baby? Do we have any Muslim there? Any Abdul? Look like the Abdul's you speak about them, they are not here, so no, nobody is saying anything. They're on uh, Pal Talk. Oh, on Pal Talk, okay. Do you have yeah, a... yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ah, you are, uh, you are coming from Pal Talk. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you hear those uh, like explanation from the Abdul. I, I get it, okay. Okay, yep. do, do you have any other question? No, that was it. Thank you so much. You're I'll call some other time. No come problem. Live. Thank you very much for calling. All right, Thank take you. care. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, but you know, we cannot say we cannot say the prophet is not a prophet because he do not know where the ribs, where the where the bones is coming. I mean, where the sperm is coming from. Uh, the prophet he like, you know, to express his knowledge, and as you know, the prophet he have a lot of women in his bed. So obviously, he knows a lot better than any of us. I mean, who knows better about women? Sexual fluid more than the prophet the prophet his nose is always there The prophet where are you prophet? I am here where I'm here down there, you know looking for the sexual blood You know the prophet imagine the prophet he have what they call it this uh, thing to uh, to increase the size He have a magnifier and he is looking down 
this is a sexual fluid where it's coming from where it's coming from let us go up go down go prophet what are you doing why, why your head is between uh, uh, i am studying science are you okay so set up let me leave me alone i'm trying to find where the sexual fluid is coming from and now the prophet he is you know he's tracking the trace he's trying to find the trace where this where this flood is coming from it's a fluid flood actually in arabic it says Dafiq is like you open a faucet, but this faucet have a very powerful water, like boof, you know, you know what I'm talking about? This is what Dafiq mean in Arabic. I mean, have you ever I, I don't I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. But do women really have that much of water come out like this? Is that the golden shower? <laughs> Gashing fluid. <laughs> As you see, even in English, the translation is trying to explain to you how this fluid is. It's a gushing fluid. It's a gushing fluid coming from the women's ribs. That's astonishing. I can't believe it that ribs can do that. You know, <clears throat> the water in my in my house is weak. Can I install some women rips and they will work like a pump and they will give me a gushing, a gushing fluid in my uh, shower head? What do you mean gushing fluid coming from the rips of the women? Oh, we got a call. Hey, how are you, my friend? Let me introduce to you Dr. Darwis. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Yeah, I, I'm sure you have a comment about what we are saying. I keep thinking about the lady from a while back um, that actually um, had the sperm coming from her from her ribs. Yeah, the one that could testify to it. I can't remember her name <laughs> now. In the video, you mean the video? Yes, in the video. Yeah, if you find that video, let me know so we can play it here so people they can laugh. <laughs> I, I've got it somewhere. Um, Somebody else probably has it too because we brought it back up uh -huh. uh, a few months ago before you left. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm calling this time um, actually to follow up with something that ran across my mind yesterday. Um, somebody, I can't remember how it came up, but you were talking about um, verse 931, I think it is. About they take the rabbis and the monks uh -huh. <clears throat> uh, for lords apart from Allah. And you come in, you said that the way it's actually written in the Arabic is, is that they take the rabbis and monks as lords apart from, from the Messiah. Mm -hmm. It's written as though they should be worshiping the Messiah. Yes, Allah and um, the Messiah. But, Allah and the, the Messiah. But, Okay, all that Messiah, yeah. But all the translations, you know, they they feel, you know, that they, they misplace the words. They word it in such an order to, that it doesn't read like that when you look at it in English. Yeah, they say that this is what it's mean. This is why the translation came in this way. This is why they they they, they say uh, it's not translated the the way it is in Arabic, because the at the end is what the meaning is, you know. So they yeah, claim that I, this is the meaning. Yeah, cause, yeah, cause um, but I wanted to ask you to actually work through that in the Arabic, yeah. so I can re well, it's recorded, so I can save it. All right, uh, uh, you see the screen with me? <clears throat> yes. I will translate for you word by word. Ittakhadu okay. mean they took. Ahbarahum, they're scholars. Waruhbanahum, they're monks. As gods. Instead, Mindun, instead, Allah and the Messiah, the son of Mary. To make it one line, they took their scholars and monks as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah, the son of Maryam. Oh. This is how it is in Arabic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, that, that's actually pretty clear. Yeah. And I believe maybe Muhammad, he said that at that time. Uh, he was trying to get uh, his hypocrisy close to those who they are uh, around him and trying to convince him that he is, uh, you know, he believe in what they believe. Because remember, Muhammad, he have a history of doing that. You know, yeah. he kissed the black stone because the Arab, they kiss it. You know, there's nowhere, uh, you know, it's, uh, there is no reason for him to do that. Uh, throwing the rocks at the house of the shaitan, supposedly. This is a previous pra practice of the Arab before him, and Muhammad he adopted. Yeah. Uh, visiting uh, 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 Manat, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, a lot. And uh, 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 Doing a Safa and Marwa, sorry. A Safa and Marwa yeah. is a okay. practice of the Arab and the, the pagans before Islam. Even the Muslim at that time, they said to him, why you are doing this? But Muhammad, he was trying to to let us say he want to be the United Nation you know I agree with everybody just come with me okay what do you like you like Safa al Marwa I do Safa al Marwa you kiss black stone I kiss black stone you believe in the Messiah I believe in the Messiah you believe in Musa's I believe in Musa's so Muhammad is the kind he is with you just go with him you know yeah he compromise yeah. he compromises religion to make it close to you in order to grab you to him yeah he, he's a politician yeah actually this is what Muslims say if you ask Muslims why Muhammad even marry all those women they say to you he's trying to spread Islam and to to grant himself a position in the society so they agree that Muhammad is willing to do things uh, using women uh, in, in order to accomplish uh, you know a mission I understand uh, it's, it's politician is you know yeah like now everybody they all the politicians up in arms about gun control and then so a few months later something else happened and all of a sudden they'll be up in arms about that yeah the, they get uh, in front of the crowd and try to ride right. the wave instead of right simply because speaking if you, the truth if, and if let you go, it go where if, if you go against the wave if you go against the wave they will they will not elect you maybe and then you know yeah, yeah they don't uh, like it so yeah so you have, now, you have to speak the mind of people and say to them what they like to hear let, let me ask you this then um i know that large parts of the Quran I won't say large parts but several parts of the Quran are actually copied from other uh, Arabic um, false gospels uh, is there a chance that it could be taken from one of those and he didn't really know what it was saying because when I look at it I'm wondering who are these you know who are these people that worship the rabbis and the monks I don't know who they are, so I'm wondering if he could be copying from the text of some other sect. You know? Yeah, it's possible that this is, was an answer made by a Christian. Uh, but uh, here we have one, one addition that Muhammad, he changed the word, you know, uh, uh, he added the word Allah to the statement, you know. Yeah. Uh, so what it was saying, they took their monks and their, uh, their uh, scholars, or let us say their bishop maybe, and their monks as gods instead of the Messiah. It can be, as you said, the possible somebody is uh, refuting a cult maybe at that time, and he's saying to them, you should worship only one person that is the Messiah, he is your God, and your God is one. But here, the Muslim, they say to you, uh, sometime in Arabic, uh, uh, you can add something at the end for the first part of the sentence, but this is not what the verse is saying, and this is not true. It doesn't even make sense. Uh, you see, here in Arabic we have uh, the letter wa. If you if you watch my videos, teach in Arabic, the letter wa is harf atif, it's a, uh, which means same as end in English. So, like you continue, you know, you okay. wanna, you want to add something. So here it says they they took their uh, mo uh, uh, scholars and their monks as gods instead of Allah and Al Masih, you know. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say, and they took Al Masih as God. No, it says Well Masih. So this is uh, Wa Al Masih is following after Allah, which means both they are in one section, and the other part is one section. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Okay, but you know the Muslim they will say to you uh, this is what it's meant and you can read the interpretation etc 
but you know for me first time I, I did read this uh, verse I read it again and again and again you know I, uh, it doesn't make sense <laughs> yeah it doesn't make sense yeah. yeah because they're they're all telling you that it means something different from what it clearly says you see many things in the Quran is it doesn't make sense like uh, 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 if you go where the Quran confirm that Jesus is the Word of God you know okay and the Quran, and that verse is saying to the Christians don't exaggerate in your religion don't exaggerate and don't say anything but the truth about Allah the Messiah supposed to now he is answering them saying to them who is the Messiah the Messiah Isa Ibn Maryam the son of Maryam he is the messenger of Allah and he is his word okay why I need to add and say he is his word is it enough to say he is the messenger of Allah what is the purpose to say he is his word and not only that not only he said it is and he is his word he said and he is a spirit or a spirit from him okay why Jesus uh, you want to explain to me who is Jesus that he is just a man like everybody he is a prophet like everybody so why you are saying the following to me that he is the Word of God and he is a spirit proceeding from God so who is Jesus then yeah. <laughs> are you asking you want me to answer I know I'm saying to the Muslims if he is just a man why he can't he say uh, Messiah is a messenger of Allah and that's it when we know already that he is a man right we do not need yeah. to add and say he is his word we do not need to add and he is a spirit proceeding from him what proceeding from him mean what does that mean yeah you just told us that he's God uh, that word proceeding well yeah, he did but you didn't know it that word proceeding from him that that's trans I should say that's translated a spirit proceeding yeah it's it, because, be, because because he is a spirit of God from him you know it doesn't say created by him he is this is why uh, uh, one of the names of the Messiah he was called Ruhullah Ruhullah the Spirit of God Muhammad is not the Spirit of God Adam not the Spirit of God only the Messiah in Islam his title or it's a title given to him yeah. that he like imagine how many title here oh, he is the Word of God he is the Spirit of God and he is the Messiah and then you want to tell me that he is not God okay why he is oh, why he is all of this and the funny in the same verse it says don't say Trinity yeah in the same verse yeah he doesn't know <laughs> but now I, I understand the concept here but I'm actually want I want to check this word it says a spirit proceeding from him because that's actually important if if the word well if, if I say it in English proceeding from him that actually makes a difference if that's actually what it says so before I actually put that in my brain as an argument that can be used in the future I wanted to check to be certain that that is actually what the word means well uh, you know uh, yes. this is what the word the word, you know how I can be a, a spirit proceeding from God anyone explain to me please yeah well, how is that well, I mean pro yeah proceeding from that that, that means it, it basically means uncreated is what it yeah, it is coming. The, 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 the origin of this is from God. You know, the, it's mm. not a created, it is from God. Which is God. You know? Which which is enough to make it God, yes. And and <laughs> in, in the same time, you know, he is the word of God. Okay. You ask the Muslims, is the word of God is it created? They will say no. But how he is just a man, the man is a created. So he is the man, but he is the word. You know. And then he is a spirit, the spirit proceeding from God. And then he says, don't say Trinity, but you just confirm the Trinity because Jesus here is a man. That is the son. He is the word. And he is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Based on the Quran, I'm not, the, I'm not the one saying that. I'm saying the Quran says that he is all of those. He is a spirit. He is the word. And he is the man. The messenger, the word, the spirit, three in one. Right. And you say to me, don't say a trinity. Right. 
but yet he, and, con and he confirmed it. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, yeah, he confirmed it. I mean, that's it says it plainly. I mean, they, you know, I, I can understand when you look at Muhammad as somebody who does not understand Christianity, looking at some other stuff, and he does not know what it is that he's reading, that he's that he's repeating. And that's clearly what it is. I mean, the things he says, he's he's his word, says he's a mystery of God and his word, which is uncreated by definition, and his spirit proceeding from him, which is also uncreated, which is enough to make him God. But Muhammad, you know, not being a very religious man, not really not being well read, not knowing what, he, what he's reading or saying, can repeat that. I, I can see him repeating that, you know, it, it's, I guess it's Unitarian thinking, had probably had no idea what the Trinity was. And, you know, I, I can, I can see him making a, a common mistake like that. I want to show you something. Uh, you can take a note. In chapter okay. six, chapter six, verse number 15, look what Muhammad is saying. It's just six verse, chapter six, verse what? Uh, chapter uh, six, verse number fifteen. You see it on the screen. Okay. okay. Say, Allah saying to Muhammad to tell the people, you know. I tell you not that uh, with me are the treasure of Allah, nor I do know what is hiding, nor I do tell you I am an angel, but I follow what revealed to me. So Muhammad have knowledge of anything. Don't ask me questions. Okay, that is the status of a messenger of God or a prophet of God. He just tell what he heard. Okay. Now let us go to Jesus in the Quran. I remember, I'm, I'm comparing between the same book statement, one about Muhammad and one about Jesus. All right, let us see. <laughs> Here in this uh, verse, and we will see how Jesus he is telling them what he can do. Hold on, this thing is not working good. Uh -huh. <coughs> In this verse in front of us, chapter 3, verse number 49, it says the following. Jesus talking now. I came to you with signs from your Lord. Okay, so the Muslim now they will say, as you see, it's sign from your Lord. In that I make for you out of the clay, as it were the figure of a bird. And I breathe into it. You see here, the eye is missing. In Arabic, it says I. And I breathe into it. It became a bird by Allah leaves. So Jesus can, according to the Quran, he can create from the mud a bird, living bird. He breathed into it the same as God he did when he created Adam, according to the Quran. So he breathed, which means from his breathing, the power life is, uh, of life is given from the breath of Jesus. How... A creature can create a life we continue because now this is not a miracle of Allah this is a miracle of Jesus for he is the one breathing Jesus did not create the, the figure and he say hey Allah breathe into it right it is him who breathe then he continue and not with me here and I heal I heal those who they are born blind so Jesus he can give eyes this is a creation again Giving eyes is a creation. Giving vision is a creation. The uh, the person who is born blind is uh, you know he, he have a damaged nerves or the, there's something damaged in his eyes. So to make him blind, to make the blind see, is a, another form of a creation, even if it's not a, a creation of a human being. 
but a creation of a body of the or part of the body which is the eyes and then I heal the lepers which means he have a power over any kind of illness and then I quicken the dead all right yes now all of this is not enough he continues saying and I declare to you what you eat and what you store in your houses do you remember what Muhammad said about this Muhammad he said in the verse we showed you before that he yeah. have no idea of the unseen what is hiding I cannot tell you the, the treasure of Allah because this is from the treasure of Allah the knowledge of what people did if this is if Allah is God this is from the treasure of God because God is the only one who knows the unseen right. so how Jesus can tell me what I'm hiding in my house based on what he's just a prophet so all of those miracles is not enough for me to prove to me that Jesus is God actually what you just said to me in this verse proven to me that I should follow Jesus not Muhammad because Muhammad have none of those miracles did Muhammad form a clay and breathe into it no and make it a figure of a bird and he make the a living bird no did Muhammad make the born blind see again no did Muhammad heal the leper no did Muhammad quicken the dead no can Muhammad declare to us what you eat and what you store and what you had in your houses no so all of this is about a man and all of that is about a, the greatest prophet remember Muhammad is the greatest prophet <laughs> based on what like imagine guys just to make it simple we have two guys applying for a job of a prophet prophet I don't want to say God one of them can resurrect people from death he can make the blind see he can heal any diseases he can't tell you what you had in your houses which means you cannot lie to him do you know how dangerous to say I can't tell you what you eat and what you store in your houses that's mean he knows everything he see everything that's mean he's everywhere he's yeah. talking to people he's not talking to a person he's talking to all the people of Israel I can tell you all of you what you have in your houses how you can do that all of this this is the resume of Jesus he created from the mud a bird he breathed into it make it a living bird which means he had create life he can create eyes and parts body parts giving eyes to the one who is born blind he can resurrect people from death which is a form of a creation too because when you are dead you are dead that's it there is the you need to be recreated again to come back to life you know yeah. when we say quick in the dead you know this is not a person who was a freezer in the freezer and is still like there is a flesh dead at that time in the second day you are you know you're 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 uh, 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 from the Star first second actually yeah your body is is, is, is going to this dispose uh, situation so all of those is in the resume of a person his name is Jesus the Christ then we go to the resume of Muhammad Muhammad in his resume in the top of it he said I know nothing ask me no question <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> don't ask me <laughs> only now God, God knows best Allah knows best <laughs> you know this is all in the resume of Muhammad Muslims the resume in the front of you I'm not making it up yeah, don't the, ask me anything just listen to what I tell you yeah the resume the resume of Muhammad in front of you I tell you not of the treasure of Allah which means I don't tell you what you hide don't ask me questions I have no idea okay I, I, I cannot make anything for you I am just a guy I am a postman I do delivery for you what Allah revealed to me but why he cannot do any of what Jesus does why the resume of Muhammad I mean, what, what kind of resume this resume? Muslims, be honest. If you have two people to hire for a job, Jesus alone is a hospital, you know, like just by himself. He is the hospital. <laughs> he is the doctors. He is the nurse. He is the, the medicine. He is everything. Jesus alone. Muhammad is a disease. 
he have no idea don't ask him a question even he made a chapter in the Quran uh, make a verse a chapter 5 verse 101 says ask, ask not questions so Jesus is not the one you can ask in question only he can even tell you what you hide he can tell you even what you are thinking about before you say it because the one who tell you what you hide in your store it means he tell you what you hide in your head yes before you store things in a store that information is stored in your head Jesus can read your mind yes he can tell you what you ate so what, how is that can be and why this person he need he, he know what you what you ate why I mean what the point unless he is showing you his power and who is he so for the sake of argument if Jesus was given all those signs from a guy his name is Allah and Muhammad he got he got none of them the question why look at the city answer the Muslim they say to you brother Thitar, in the time of love the truth medicine was very advanced so Allah wanted to give this the advance of medicine this is not medicine you idiot do you see Jesus giving medicine did you see Jesus saying to the dead man open your mouth let me drop for you from the fountain of youth and you will come back to life this is not medicine what medicine when Jesus make the blind see he give him medicine he said go and drink this three times a day <laughs> what medicine <laughs> drink him here and you know the funny <laughs> in the time of Jesus medicine was advanced we are talking about the Roman 600 years before Muhammad so the Roman 600 years after Muhammad they were not advanced in, in, in medicine 600 years after Jesus they are not advanced 600 years before Muhammad before before you know uh, 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 before Muhammad they were advanced 600 years after Jesus they were not advanced I mean look at this logic this is have nothing to do with medicine what medicine there's nobody here is giving medicine <laughs> and what about you know you tell me what is in my email is that about medicine now how Jesus is going to tell me what I ate is that medicine how Jesus and why why he have all those things together I mean isn't it enough to make this person he's a prophet of God it's isn't it amazing he can make it from a mother bird that is not enough to prove to us that he's a prophet yeah yeah you know what about but, but, what about making the blind see? Yeah, all, all those lists and not in the top of that he is the word of God he is the spirit of God in the top of all of this he is not dead <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you <laughs> you know in the top of all those things Jesus he can do he don't he don't, he don't like to die you know <laughs> hey, Muhammad, Muhammad, hey Muslims where is, where is Jesus now he's in the heaven brother in heaven what, what is doing there <laughs> he will come back and he will kill the pig ah you know this is the whole you see that the, sometimes I look at the Muslims I find I find them they are like a bunch of naive kids do you really think that Jesus is in heaven because he will come back and he will fight with the pig I mean who is the stupid here you are the pig yeah. pig and when he yeah. killed the pig Allah is victorious <laughs> <laughs> so all, all the problem we have in this earth is mr. pig you can imagine in the, in the judgment day Jesus is coming or Isa sorry Isa is coming and he have an army of Muslims behind him like you know like sand and in the other side a one pig standing for Jesus and Jesus he said to him hey you pig it's your day and the, and the pig he say hey Muslim Isa are you ready huh you don't know what you are fighting I play karate I have a black belt and I work for the KGB and then the war will start between mr. pig and mr. Isa and then Isa will be victorious and that's it Allah is happy and the, the end of the story so all of this is about the pig and why in the world this God Allah he have a problem with the pig I want to know what mr. pig did for him what about fighting Satan 
<laughs> where, where, where is Satan? Why why the fight end with the pig? Any Muslim can tell us? What happened to Satan? Well, like where he go? Mad, crazy, stupid religion, naive. It's like you, you are talking to a, 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 a bunch of kids making a cartoon, believing in a cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's really what it is, though. Uh, I would, it, it seems that Islam comes to them um, as bedtime stories, you know, that their mothers tell them, and they come up believing in it. My friend, and they have very little knowledge of even bit, what the books actually say. Even bedtime stories, they are not, you see, uh, uh, once I was walking with a little girl, and uh, you know we are in a uh, like a department store so i saw a broom i told her this is broom you can fly with it <laughs> she said to me <laughs> you think i'm stupid <laughs> you think i'm stupid you don't believe it she's little tiny she's not like even four or five years old she could not believe it she's she laughed at me you know i thought because she's watching cartoon she will uh -huh. you know like she do you think i'm stupid <laughs> no. <laughs> I said, no obviously not <laughs> The most I believe in a flying carpet, a flying mule, a flying donkey, a, a donkey who tell them about the sex. I mean, it's it, endless, but nobody complain. But a kid don't believe in this garbage. Little kid, a, a girl, you know, shows that she have more intelligence than those Muslims. But anyway, you know, what, 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 but you know, but uh, there is many Muslims, by the way. Uh, in the beginning, they deny and they try to refuse. But as you see, uh, the the proof is in the front of their eyes. Uh, so fabrication, uh, videos, articles, the Muslims they make try to fool the others. At the end, is going to be defeated because yeah. they will stop by and they will read it, and we are showing the proof and the reference in the front of their eyes. And you know, at the end of the day, you know, I said to myself, what if the science discover that the semen of the person stay in the womb for 40 days? What the Muslims will do? Man. <laughs> they will make long movies about this, but now nobody talk about it. Correct, guys? Do you think the Muslim did not see this hadith that their prophet he said that? Do you think the Muslim did not see that their prophet said the sun set in the murky water and the women have a sperm coming from her ribs? But nobody making articles about them. Why? Why Muslim don't make an article about this? Why don't make a movie showing us how amazing he is? Hmm? So while Jesus was recovering people from death and the blind sea and healing the leper, and telling people what they hide in their houses. Muhammad, he was telling us where the sperm of the women is coming from. <laughs> huh. Interesting. <laughs> and uh, according to his knowledge, which is coming from God, which is the unseen, he was able to investigate and trace. I think Muhammad, he was a uh, you know, Native American Indian. He can trace, mm -hmm. like, you know, he can trace things, you know, he can go far, he can follow the steps. So he followed the steps of semen. He keep going up, going up, going up. He start from the private part, going up, going up, and then he stop here. Where? The location of the necklace. This is where the women's sperm is coming from. Mm -hmm. And bingo, Muhammad, he decided to announce the news to the Muslims, and the Muslims were astonished with this knowledge. And you are telling me Muhammad is not a prophet. What do you say, Muslims? They say Quran only. My friend, Quran only bring them. We love more. The Muslim who say Quran only bring them. I want to love with them. The Quran is a stupid book by itself. One verse in the Quran says Allah created the heaven first, the other verse saying Allah created the earth first. What are you talking about? You think you can escape? And here we go. We are reading Quran only. Quran says that the women have a sperm coming from her ribs. Yeah, yeah, that's the Quran. And the backbone, you know. <laughs> Quran is the one who said he found the sun set in the murky water. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not the hadith. Quran is speaking about the flying carpet. Quran is speaking about the, the prophet, the, the ant, he, she heard him. But ants are deaf. 
It says that the ant heard his speech, speech, which means the ants speak Hebrew. By the way, do you think ants are Hebrew? Maybe, maybe at that time all ants speak Hebrew. <laughs> I'm just well, guessing. Maybe just those ants. <laughs> yeah, because you, you know. see, there's many things. There's many things. Uh, people don't think about it when you read this story. Because as long as the ant, she uh, 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 she spoke. Uh, uh, sorry, it was it was a, a Suleiman who was able to hear her and understand. Not the ant understand him. But there is something still will lead me to understand that the ant herself, she speak Hebrew. Why? Because how she know that his name is Solomon? <laughs> Any Muslim can tell me? How Miss Ant, Mrs. Ant, huh? look, look, read with me. This is a translation of the Muslims. And before Suleiman, Solomon, were marched his host. And look, guys, look at the army of Suleiman. The army of Suleiman alone is, is enough to make the best cartoon for comedy. The army of Suleiman and his host is what? Is contain what? A brigade of genie, brigade of mankind, brigade of birds. Birds? The army of Suleiman have birds? <laughs> hey, Suleiman. <laughs> Suleiman, can you can you lend me like a five of your ducks <laughs> the yeah, army, don't the birds speak different languages though <laughs> it's not about the language the, 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 the birds the, go quack, quack, but the other birds don't the, go quack, quack those birds in his army to do what exactly <laughs> what is their job <laughs> i mean what <laughs> army of birds <laughs> okay, you know what? I I think I got I got I got what he uh, what Suleiman is going to use the army of birds for. I think during wartime he will order the birds to fly in the top of the enemy and do poo poo in the top of them. Poop poop, poop poop, poop poop, <laughs> and the poop start running like rain. And those those army they start like cleaning themselves, and suddenly the the army of Suleiman will attack. I mean, this is astonishing. And look after that, I would say. At length, when he came to the valley of the ants, valley of the ants <laughs> <laughs> is that the United States of ants? <laughs> <laughs> so we went to the valley of the ants, and from the valley of ants, and you can imagine how many ants in the valley of ants, but one ant yes. look, look, one of the ants, not two, not the three, not four, only one ant. <laughs> Looked like she was in charge of the radio station. <laughs> in the valley of the ant, one of the ants. What about the rest of the ants? <laughs> the rest of the ants, they were taking a shower or in the bikini. <laughs> one of the man, they were at work. I mean, I mean, look at look at the details, man. The details will kill you one of the ants it's not like an ant no one of the ants <clears throat> said okay oh ye ants get into your habitation let Solomon and his host to crush you under their foot <laughs> <laughs> hey, Abdul Abdul if you focus with me for a second how this ant was able to make her voice read to all the ants in the valley of the ants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. One ant? <laughs> Maybe she had a bullhorn. <laughs> oh, boy. One ant. No, the rest did not talk. You see, the rest did not talk. This ant is the one who talked. And Suleiman, he heard that ant, and he was amused. And look with me. Look what it says. This is the Muslim translation. At her speech, what the heck? Did you hear the speech of Trump lately? <laughs> <laughs> what speech? <laughs> Abdul, it's going to take you two seconds to search in the internet and you will find that ants are deaf and mute. They don't talk. Now, do ants communicate? Yes, their talk is different. They don't talk by tongue. They don't talk by making voice from the mouth and words and letters. They communicate by chemicals and vibration. So how the ant 
she was hurt by Suleiman and he liked her speech. <laughs> and that what was more funny because Allah told Suleiman or taught Suleiman the language of birds. <laughs> but yet he understood the end. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> imagine, <coughs> imagine, I say to you that God taught me the language, uh, 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 the language of elephant, and the chicken said to me, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah." <laughs> and look here, and he took a ma a, a muster of the bird. And he said, why is it I see not the hoopoo? What the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> so the man is a chicken, a chicken is a chicken, and he found one is missing. <laughs> his bird answer. <laughs> and his birds, uh, he's asking the birds, where is this, uh, the captain, your captain, where is your captain? Yeah. <laughs> What, what is Captain Hoop, Hoop, Hoop. How, how, how you say this word by by the way? How you say it correctly? How you pronounce like it? What? The Hoopo? Is it Hoopo? How you say yeah, it? Hoopo in English. That's Hoop. that's that word there. Really? Hoopo. Oh, Hoopo. Okay. So, Hoopo. What is Hoopo? <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard of it. Bird, so. <laughs> oh, let me show you the. Let, let, let me show you how this bird looked like. You know, oh, but, but don't skip, don't skip the next verse, though. The, the, the next verse is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry. Be happy. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not missing it. <laughs> just, just I want to show, I want to show people what, uh, what this uh, uh, bird looked like. Hold on, let me search, search for it. Yeah, because they might not know what this bird looked like. Let us see. All right, this is the bird we are talking about. Look at the screen, please. So this is the bird. Oh, <laughs> Suleiman, <laughs> he was talking to, <laughs> and he was the one in the charge of finding women for Suleiman. <laughs> oh, is that what the job was? Yeah, this is a very small, tiny bird. It's a beautiful bird, you know. It can be found in the desert. So. Uh, this bird is a holy bird for the Muslims. You know, Muslims don't kill it. You know, they don't kill this bird because of this story. <laughs> really? Yeah, they don't kill it because this is. A <laughs> Come on, the <laughs> Prophet Suleiman. He spoke to the widow. You know, there's tons of stories about this. So this bird is the one who was in charge, and as you see here, if you notice with me, this is an old. Uh, uh, this is from the Egyptian Museum. You see, this is for the same bird. So the the, the this this kind of bird have many legends exist before long before Islam, and obviously they've been carried on through generations, and people believe in them. You know. Okay. Uh, otherwise, this bird is a small is is a is a smaller than a pigeon. Actually, you know, it's very small, but it's a beautiful. You know, it's a beautiful bird. Uh, here we go. You see this guy? He held, holding it with the, uh, in the top of his hand. You see how small it is? Uh, not yet, because the YouTube lags the oh, okay. Skype. Bye, bye yeah, a it's a small. Uh, it's in the size of your hand, like something like that. Even you know. So it's it's very small, tiny. But imagine a prophet Solomon who have a huge army, and oh, he yes. is a king. He is a chicken on this bird, and he miss it. Where where are you? Where is he? Yeah, huh? where is he? Where he go? <laughs> where he go? And then you told me not to miss the second uh, verse, so we will oh, go back. Burst. Yeah, so he told them, "Where is this guy, Hubu? Huh? Where is he?" And then he said, "I will certainly punish him with a severe penalty, <laughs> or execute him, or what the heck, execute him." <laughs> The birds, a wall. You see, the king is is getting angry. There's one bird is missing. He is going to execute. I mean, this king is tough, man. No games with Suleiman. He is going to execute this little tiny, <laughs> beautiful. Look, look, look at all the troops. Look at this <laughs> together. This, birds. This, and that bird is a wall. This bird <laughs> is a, is a challenging. 
the the prophet Solomon authority and he did not he did he go without permission <laughs> <laughs> a guy who had a huge army elephants bird genie and now this bird is missing <laughs> imagine a Trump he called the CIA and he said to them, Where is the hoopoe? <laughs> I want the hoopoe immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I check my nation from 300 million American and, and, four, uh, and 400 billion million bird we have. There's one bird is missing. Where he go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, uh. Mr. This your, 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 your profit is too much. I mean, this is, must be a true story. However, all those stories, Muhammad, he copied them from the legions of the Jews. The yeah. Jews, they have traditional stories full of fictions. The stupid Muhammad, he copied them, he carried them, he put them in his Quran, as are they are true stories. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, all those stories are coming from a place, and we know where the place is. It's not like a hiding place. However, I advise people if you want to laugh at Islam and to see how stupid this religion is, I advise you to read the chapter 18 from verse number one. It is one of the most stupid chapters in the Quran, full of stories, fictions, crazy ones. And you will, you will go through, uh, as an example, uh, uh, the Prophet uh, Al Khadr, which is. Uh, uh, another legions coming from uh, other nations uh, the seven sleepers which is a, 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 about Christian youth who they were being discriminated which is a fiction story written by a Christian bishop from Syria many centuries before Islam Muhammad he took it he put it in the Quran as if it's part of his book uh, the stories of Sulaiman <coughs> all those stories are coming from um, other nations you know and you know if you are uh, if you are naive and stupid i mean it's your fault you, know. you yeah. see if somebody believe in santa claus santa claus is more a, tr a true story there's more truth about him from any story in the quran because santa claus truly santa claus is a true person this is yeah. number 1 he used to give gifts to children this is number 2 he was a good man this is number 3 but can you tell me, Muslims, how you can believe in the story of Suleiman marching in the valley of ants? By the way, bro, what do you have next week? I'm thinking to go, uh, like in, um, you know, you know, just for a week or two in the valley of cockroaches. If you like, you can join with me. What do you think? The valley of cockroaches. Yeah, I mean, do you think it's going to be fun? We can record YouTube there. <laughs> <laughs> me and. No. You me and you doing crusade in the valley of the cockroaches and when we arrive in the valley of the cockroach one of the cockroach will say brothers brothers the christian prince and his friend his army is coming <laughs> hide, your, hide yourself otherwise he have a spray in his hand <laughs> he is going to spray you <laughs> the muslim cockroaches <laughs> uh, i don't know i mean this is really crazy <laughs> how you how you Muslims believe in this? And by the way, all insects are Muslims. By the way, all animals are Muslims according to the Quran. You know, all Muslims have Quran too. All all animals. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the value of Salsur in Arabic. By the way, the cockroach is Salsur. This is why when I saw the name of this woman with her name, the Muslim mm -hmm. woman, her last name is Salsur. I was like, her name is what Salsur? You know. <laughs> the, the, the words are, words are sore mean uh, cock, cockroach yeah. okay I mean the, well, uh, this is the story is very you know I mean it's very very uh, you know very convincing if you if those stories did not convince you to convert to us now nothing will convince you <laughs> yeah I guess not yeah and then not only that you know the story of Suleiman get more complicated, especially when the when the genie, the shaitan, he take the ring from him when he go in the bathroom, and then he wear the ring, and then he get uh, he you know he like he clone himself to look like him, and he start having bang bang and sex sex with his wives, you know, mm -hmm. 
and then after, <laughs> and after that, Suleiman, he, he was kicked out of his palace and he started working as a porter. He carried stuff for people in the in the market. And then Suleiman, one day, he saw a rich man who buy or who bought some fish. So uh, he told him, he told this guy, uh, if I carry for you your fish to your home, what you will give me in return? The guy, he said to him, I will give you a fish in return. Suleiman, he said, okay, Suleiman is kind of a poor man now. So Suleiman, he carried the fish of this rich man to his house. And then when he went to his house, the man, he paid him back as they agree. He paid him back a fish. Suleiman, he went home and he decided to clean the fish to eat it. He's a poor guy, remember. He opened the belly of the fish and guess what he found? <laughs> I don't know, CP. What did he find? <laughs> Come on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't lie <laughs> honest to god if you lie i'm going to take you to the value of the ends without a without a translator <laughs> and i will, and i will ask you to write for me all, every everything the ants are saying there for the last month <laughs> no that's not you, you were supposed to ask me so, are you sure so <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is why you said i didn't know <laughs> Uh, this guy is playing me now. Yeah, he found inside the belly of the fish, he found a ring. <laughs> and then the prophet Suleiman, he wore the ring and he became a king again. <laughs> yes, sir. Honest to God, I'm buying fish since I was like 20 years old. I am cleaning it by my hand and never get a ring inside. I mean, look at the luck. I have no luck in my life. Not even a ring made from plastic. I mean, what's wrong with those fish? Suleiman, from all the fish in the world, he got the fish which has his ring. And then he wore his ring and he became a king again. And that reminds me of the movie. It's called The Lord of the Ring. <laughs> Lord of the Ring. Seriously, Muslims, aren't you convinced that this is a true religion? <laughs> And, <laughs> and, and, the, and, the wives, and the wives and the wives of Suleiman. Uh, okay, let me let me rephrase this. Uh, rephrase. Uh, the wife of Suleiman. They notice that their husband is not the true Suleiman. How do you know? Don't tell me. Oh, I don't me? Know. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, he was different. <laughs> <laughs> he was different. <laughs> he was different in what way? He was, he was different. He was different know. in which way? <laughs> don't tell me I don't know. Are he you was, sure? He was different at night. <laughs> <laughs> Look how polite he this was, guy. Look how polite he is. He is shy yeah. to say it. You know, he was different at night. The, <laughs> the, nobody was looking. The wives of Suleiman. They had problems containing him. Yeah. <laughs> His wife <laughs> contained it, so it's, it's a private part, like it's poing, poing, poing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when the when when the when the when Shaitan he cloned Suleiman, according to the Muslim story, uh, then the wives they notice that their husband, which is not the true husband, but he looked like him, his penis is well, so like powerful, <laughs> like this guy, his penis never go sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and the wives they were like wow what the heck what happened to our husband penis why his penis never go rest he don't even want to take a break you know and yeah. the wives they reported that the penis of their husband to the elders of the kingdom, like the ministers, they told them, like they had a meeting about the peace of the king. They told them, do you know, we have something <laughs> suspicious about our husband. The elders, they said, what, what's happening? They said, you know, our husband, the one we know, his penis is little, <laughs> not powerful. <laughs> Hardly he can do it once. Even after eating two kilograms of hummus and falafel, yeah. still he can do it more. But this guy, his penis is like a gun machine, like and never out of bullets. 
So the elders, they felt that there is something for sure, something fishy. And you see, guys, this is why, listen to me carefully. If you ever try to clone somebody, don't exaggerate using your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Try to clone everything about that guy. If that guy, his penis doesn't function good, you better do the same. Otherwise, the wife will discover that this is not, you are not the true husband. I mean, What's the point <laughs> in that? <laughs> this is a true story. I mean, this is very convincing true story. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up a second. Why would I want to clone a guy with a bunch of wives if I'm still going to be weak in bed like him? What, what's the point in that? <laughs> uh, no, there is a reason. If, uh, okay, what if his <laughs> what if his wives are so beautiful? Huh, this is number one reason. Uh, All number, the more reason to not clone. <laughs> and and uh, number two, he's a king. You will be a king. So come on, we have to be honest here. The story makes sense. Number three, you will control the genies. You know, all the genies in the world will be under your hand. Okay, I will give you an example. Your mother-in-law, she has given you hard time. If you have a genie, you can get rid of her in two seconds. See? Yeah. See the benefit? I mean, come on. Uh, let us say, uh, if you are, uh, 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 if you are Suleiman and you have this ring, you do not need to use the post office to send mail and pay money, and etc. You can send any package to anywhere in the blink of an eye without paying customs, you know. So you can do a lot of things. You can be build villas. You can make a lot of money. So we have to be honest here. There's a part of the story is kind of convincing. I'm convinced with it. Uh, but why the shaitan, he was so much horny? Any Muslim knows? I mean, if he did not do it too much, the wives will never know, and he will be fine. Until now, he will be Suleiman there. And Muhammad, to make it more, the story more interesting, he claimed that Suleiman when he die, he dies standing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he dies standing, and but nobody notice. So the man he dies standing, and nobody notice. His wives, his ministers, his soldiers, nobody notice. The reason <laughs> is, you you. What is the reason? Tell me, tell me. What is the reason? Why didn't they notice? Yeah. Why? Why? Why did not notice? I don't remember why they didn't notice. I know are you guys standing are, up. It was there for a year before they you, did notice. Are you sure? Uh 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> because no, we have to check the interpretation. <laughs> guys, Suleiman, <laughs> when he died, he died standing, he was holding his stick. So he was dead standing for a long time, and nobody knows and nobody noticed that the king is dead. I mean, this is very normal. Uh, in my country, where I'm coming from, a lot of people, they die in the stick and nobody notice. <laughs> Imagine you have a stick in your hand <laughs> and you die. And because you are holding a stick, you don't fall down. <laughs> and then how people, they notice that the Prophet Suleiman is dead. Anyone, let's see in the text. The one in the text, who noticed? Who, who remember? How the people notice that Suleiman is dead? Anyone knows? Let us see if, if uh, those people there they have a good memory. Anyone knows? How the people they notice that Suleiman is dead or like you know finally? No, he did not smell. Oh, yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody got the, it. The <laughs> permite, yes, the the permite. The the, yeah, the the, the <laughs> insect. The, what they call them permite? Termites. Termite, termite, termite. Termite. The termite they ate the stick, so the stick broke and he fell down. <laughs> 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 I mean, this is a very convincing story. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, but see, okay, <laughs> when the jinn was pretending to be Solomon, <laughs> his wives noticed. <laughs> it, you, you know, you know. Uh, uh, I'm, when I get old, I'm going to buy a stick made from, uh, you know, like a steel. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, not but, steel. But, I mean, uh, like something will not go rust because it's still can rust, and, you know. So <laughs> no, I can, no. so I can die standing forever. <laughs> yeah, but but that, but 
But I when the gene was pretending to be Suleiman, his wives noticed. <laughs> they called a meeting about it. I would die standing. But, but when he died, they didn't notice at all. He was just genie, like oh. the genie, the angels. <laughs> nobody, dead. nobody noticed. Nobody, nobody. The wives. <laughs> imagine your wife. She come to you and she say, "Hey, CP," and you don't answer. CB, you don't answer. Okay, she come to the second day. CB, you don't answer. She go home. CB, you don't answer. It's okay. I mean, a king. This is a king. This is not a guy who lives alone in his house. This is the king of a kingdom. He have a kingdom. Imagine this guy, he check his birds every day. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> noticed like why this guy is not moving, not talking, his eyes not blinking. And that make them believe that he is alive just because he's standing. And why is he standing? Because he is holding the stick. Very true story. Yeah, but why to be serious a bit why put this in the quran i mean what <laughs> why what did muhammad have to gain no no from telling this oh no no you know muhammad is trying just to, to fill up himself as a anyway okay you see this guy he is empty he have nothing to say so he have nothing except those stories he collects from here and there and he claimed that they are true stories coming from god because many people around him believe in them See those stories for us now they are funny but in certain time many people believe in those stories you know so muhammad he was not thinking about it as a something stupid and funny as we love today he was thinking about it as a tool to convince people that he's prophet because at that time people believe in those stories until now there's people believe in magic somebody can do voodoo to somebody you know so we are in the year 2018 and still people believe in such a thing so imagine we are talking 1400 years ago how the people are naive those in certain time they were a true story for the people and they believe in them so he collect those stories which people believe in <clears throat> and he believed that by making it as if it's coming from his god that will make him a clear prophet for now it's coming official okay. you know? So they believe in it. It's not good. You see, if I tell you a story already, you believe in it. I'm not going to have a hard time to make you believe in my story. Yeah. Because you believe in it already. Yeah, so, but, but didn't everybody know that this was just a fairy tale at that time? Yes. Yeah, some of the Arab, Muhammad, at that time he was, this is, like, this is, he carried from the Jews, you know. The Jews, some of them, they believe in those stories, but they are coming from, uh, Talmud and legions, etc. They are not coming. This is false books. But Muhammad, because those Jews they believe in them, he decided to adopt them. You know? Okay. And he thought that those Jews, they are smart, they will not believe in something if unless it's true. So if you go in the Quran, you will see <clears throat> that the Arab at that time they mentioned to Muhammad the, the word uh, the the fabulous like uh, the, the fairy tale stories or uh, uh, story of the ancient uh, about nine time and uh, they refuse to believe in the Quran you know you see here it says these are nothing but the tales of the ancients <clears throat> yeah. so the Arab they were saying that to him because the Arab they heard those stories long before Muhammad and they knew that they all are fairy tale stories so they mentioned that to him but Muhammad when he adopts a story, usually he is targeting a specific group, believing it. And in this uh, story here, the target is the Jews. You know? Okay. The Jews, they are the one who carry on in those stories. They have it in their books. So he said to himself, let us take their stories. And make it as if it's, it's coming from our God, and that will make the Jews believe in me. You know, that's the whole idea. Same as other stories in the Quran, other stories like the the, the same chapter, you know, the the story of the seven sleepers. You know, this is a story coming from the Christians, but it's a fiction story. But yes. there is a certain group of Christians who they are naive; they believe that this is a true story. So Muhammad, he took it. And he put it in his book as if it's a true story and the one is reporting the story is his God. But we know that this is not. 
and have nothing to do with God. This is a fiction. Okay, so but look like yeah, part of his calling. Yeah, it looked like no Muslim today is going to call, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, um, I leave this question? Okay. Do we have any Muslim with like the call? <coughs> That because me and my friend here we feel like converting to Islam and we heard that if we convert to Islam today We will get a free ticket to the valley of the ants <laughs> Hey, <laughs> yeah, be, be honest with me. Don't you like to go you and your wife and your family spend like uh, uh, Like Christmas in the valley of ants uh, No CP um no, <laughs> I'd rather spend that money getting some more wisdom installed. Why no? I'm, are you sure? <laughs> 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 I, I mean, yeah. I, actually, I, it's it's my dream to go to the Valley of Ants. <clears throat> Man, okay. that would be fun, especially well, if you if you have a lot of sugar with you. <laughs> well, you know what my dream is, <laughs> huh? Do you know what my dream is? Your dream. My dream. Yes. Is to know, to know who what? was in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Asking that question, it's been <laughs> two years now. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> I want to know. You know, actually, who was in the fire? All right, you see, I'm trying to help you, but you are not thinking. You are not being wise. If you go to the valley of the ants, maybe you can ask the ant. Yeah, well, I can't be wise. I haven't had my wisdom installed yet. Yeah. From from all those ants in the valley of the ants, there is no way that one of them, because there's ants everywhere. Remember, you know, there's nowhere in this earth there's no ant, so they can communicate. Like one ant, she can speak to the whole ants in the whole universe, and like I don't know how many trillion or billions there are, they can mm. find you the answer. They can find you where who was in the fire. <laughs> Uh, you know, actually, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> I can ask the fire ants. <laughs> uh, you know, sometime, like when I was a kid, I learned something since since uh, early age. When I read a story, I don't read it only. I imagine myself in the story, and oh. I I, uh, I I I did that in a purpose. Uh, it, to to see things you know better way so like when i read the bible i imagine myself uh, standing there in front of jesus you know okay I, I close my eyes and i imagine that i am there and i'm listening to the words and what i was seeing what people are doing so you know because when 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 uh, somebody is writing a story for you uh, he give you this description if you don't live the description you will not really live the story so one of the funny things those things like uh, I notice about the Quran imagine yourself you are either like you can play you can you can play it twice once you are Suleiman and once you are the ant <laughs> <laughs> So let us imagine that you are the ant now <laughs> and Suleiman is coming and now you are the only ant who will talk <laughs> In the valley of the ants and then because you are super smart ant, not only you know that the army is coming you know the name of the king of that army and that what make me dizzy how the ant, for God's sake she was able to know that this king his name is Solomon any Muslim can tell me How this end? Okay, the end. She saw the army is coming. No problem. How she said that you better hide, otherwise the army of Solomon. How she knows Solomon? What do you mean? The end. She said Solomon. No. <laughs> Muslims? Any Muslim there? The end. She said to the other end. The word Solomon. How she said that? <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine the end she was saying Solomon, 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 we, 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 Solomon, <laughs> Solomon. 
<laughs> oh, she knows his name. I understand the end she wore in the other hands. But she knows his name. I mean, this is something. Do you think, guys, that the end she was inspired by Allah and Allah told her the name? Or this, this is A. B. Suleiman, he have a tag in his chest. It has his name. Or <laughs> oh man, look, you, you're thinking too hard. You're thinking too hard. I, I have he to. was with the yeah, he was with the army, right? And the army was marching. <laughs> yes, the army is coming. The, How she know his name? Right. The army they held up a flag with his name on it, and she read it. That's what I'm saying. This is why I say it. <laughs> the hand read the sign. <laughs> My friend, no, number number three is coming. The number three is. In this scenario, <clears throat> if his name is somewhere, that means the aunt she knew Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> and now we come to a conclusion that this is a Hebrew aunt. <laughs> yes, yeah, Hebrew aunt. <laughs> I, uh, you know, Muslims, I don't know. I mean, this is really crazy. Don't you see there is something here uh, wrong? I, you know, <clears throat> once. Uh, in my, in, in my house, I don't have ants, but uh, like in the Philippines, there's a lot of ants. <clears throat> so once I was working on my computer, and then an ant appeared suddenly in the coffee table in front of me, and the ant froze. And I said to myself, what this ant is thinking? <laughs> Maybe she think I am a Salamon. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> maybe she is working for the Muslim. She is going to warn them that CP is coming. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I give up. I give up. Seriously, this is too much of science, and this is amazing. I'm, 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 I'm amazed by Muhammad and his God. And nobody actually can even discuss the, the knowledge of this prophet. It's too much. Yeah, but I mean, but it's 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 not even a miracle though. It's <laughs> it, it's just a story for the no, sake of a story. No, no, this is a miracle. What are you talking about? I mean, imagine, <laughs> <clears throat> imagine. You see here the the author who, who uh, which is Allah, who made this story. Uh, mm -hmm. He is connecting the dots together. He brought you a prophet, value of ants, ants, a lot of ants, and then one ant can understand the language of the king of Suleiman, and one man in this world can understand the language of the ants. You see the, the, how unique this is story? And then the ants is warning the ants, but yet Suleiman, he can hear the ants. And this is the unique about it. You feel like this is amazing. I don't know if we can contact the one who made the uh, the movie, uh, what it's called, the, the, the Lord of the Ring. I don't know what his name, the director. Maybe we can contact him and make him make a movie about this because that will be a very successful movie. That every Muslim in the world will watch it. <laughs> Additional to all the ants. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I give up. I don't know. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> okay. Well, well uh, CP, uh, uh, last thing, and then I'll actually let you go. Uh, this uh, chapter 27, a little ways down from uh, where we were reading a minute ago. Hmm. Verse 27 25. Okay. Is that another one of these two word uh, verses? <laughs> uh, kept away from me. I should not worship Allah. Yeah, this is the same story, you know, <clears throat> about when uh, when he went to the women and he found her, uh, he found people, uh, you know, ruling, ruled by women, which is uh, the queen of Saba, which uh -huh. is. Uh, <clears throat> in the Bible, appear as what uh, the name in English. Hold on. In Arabic, Wait a minute, in, in the in the in, in Arabic, we call her Balkis. 
<coughs> Sheba, the queen of Sheba. <coughs> so uh, here the, the story continue about the bird and how this bird he went and he, uh, you know, he told her and he spoke to her and then uh, Suleiman he came, etc. Yeah, uh, hang on, CP. Um, is that it on the screen now? Well, this is how here you see uh, when the when the hope hope in verse number twenty two. We are talking about chapter twenty seven, right? Yeah, but in in my Quran, which I'm reading it off my phone, <coughs> it doesn't say anything like that. You are reading what verse now? Yeah, it says twenty seven twenty five. Okay, in twenty five, in twenty five, uh, when when uh, he is reporting to. Uh, uh, to Suleiman, the, the bird, when he came back in verse uh -huh. number 24 and 25, he's reporting to him that he found the women, uh, uh, you know, her people, they are worshipping the sun beside Allah. And Satan <coughs> made their deeds seem uh, blazing in their eyes. So this was the report of the bird for why he was missing. Okay? Right. Yeah. So here he's... Yeah, he is explaining why this is happening, and he is explaining to Solomon. <clears throat> yeah, I see that, but like in, in verse 25, I mean, but my interpretation that I'm reading, my translation is, is completely different from what you've got on your screen. Okay. It, it, it's got just a AL dash LA, and it's got like this word has two interpretations. It's got an A and a B meaning, actually makes a reference to autobotry. But it doesn't. <laughs> oh, it didn't read anything like that. Now I've got to see what translation this is. I don't know what translation, but this is what it says, in, even in Arabic. Okay. He, he is reporting that he found uh, uh, he found he found this woman ruling the people, and those people they are bowing down to the sun, uh, instead of Allah, not peace of Allah, uh, instead of Allah, and the shaitan he made their deeds look good for them, which means the bad deeds. Uh, <coughs> So uh, here, uh, verse number twenty-five. Th the reason, actually, I think you are confused, because in number verse number twenty-five, it jump from the report, uh, which is the bird is saying, and suddenly is speaking about something that does not make sense. This is why maybe you are confused about it. In verse number twenty-five, he says they should not uh, bow down to anyone. Uh, Except Allah, the one who made the uh, seeds come, blah 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 blah, you know. Uh, and he then he says shahada that there's no there's no God but Allah. He is the Lord of the of uh, of the throne. <clears throat> and then then in verse number twenty seven, Suleiman he says to him, "Well, we will see if you are lying." <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you are a bird and and. <laughs> You are a bird, and 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 uh, and the prophet Suleiman, he is accusing you. You might be lying. We will see. Okay, you see here, verse number twenty-seven. Suleiman said, "Soon shall we see whether thou has told the truth or lied." That's <laughs> that's deep. That's yeah, deep. yeah. <clears throat> okay, now I see what it is. Uh, it, it, well, it doesn't matter to you because you can read the Arabic. But uh, Mushin Khan, that's that's my translation. Mm. If you look at Mushin Khan, he's got something. He doesn't just give a clear uh, translation of the verse. He's got something just different. <laughs> so uh, well, what can you say? Mm. Can't rely on one on one Muslim translation anyway. So <laughs> yeah, he's trying to deliver the same idea, but this guy he he had uh, funny words. That's why. Uh, like he mixed between Arabic and, uh, and English. And uh, I believe all of them, they are copying each other in the translation. They are thieves. Mm -hmm. I think all of them, they are trying to copy Yusuf Ali. And then what they do, they change some words in the translation to make it as if they are the one who translated. Okay. And, and that made it more confusing. You know what I mean? Like I can copy your translation and then I just change some words because it's a... It's a uh, copyright. There's no copyright here. No, no. There's no copyright. This is because this is a this is a, a scripture book, you know. From okay. Here. So if a translation is similar, nobody can accuse you of anything, especially if it's not exactly the same. So little okay. change, little, little change, 
we'll make it your translation because we are, you know me and you are translating the same thing so it's very okay. normal to be very similar it's not like you are making a book of your own you know okay the idea is the same it is just a translation so I believe that they are copying Yusuf Ali <clears throat> however they add some stuff to make it as if it is their own effort okay but it's not uh, uh, it's not the translation making it confused as much it is the Quran itself it's stupid well yeah you know, you cannot, you cannot <laughs> make something smart out, out of something stupid anyway I mean the whole story is, is stupid. <laughs> Now you are focusing in this verse. Come on, let it let it go. <laughs> and the bird is saying La ilaha illallah. <laughs> Focus on this verse and, and miss the, the talking bird. And the, and the bird and the bird saying saying shahada La ilaha illallah. <laughs> which bird? Which bird is saying that shahada? This one. <laughs> Guys, do you see the bird is saying the shahada? This bird. <laughs> I mean that's that's good. <laughs> this bird, he speak Arabic, Hebrew. He speak Shahada. He, you know, I don't know. Uh, very dangerous. And look here. Uh, I'm not sure if this is halal. He is eating an insect. Is that halal, brother? <laughs> uh, I don't know. He's eating. The bird is Muslim. <laughs> he's, he's eating. He's eating an insect. I hope it's halal. I hope it's uh, not. Uh, not uh, go far food, you know. <laughs> that would be a problem. Anyway, well, Lord anyways, have mercy. Can... What I can say. Yeah. Well, oh, I'm I'm actually a bit tired. <laughs> you are tired, huh? You are tired, yes. not me. All right. Say, so, so not you. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit sure, but hey, uh, I guess it's uh. Well, I don't know what time it is. It's, it's got to be morning somewhere in the world. Maybe you'll get a, a Muslim to call you. Yeah, no, you it's, no, it's 11. I, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm done for today. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Day. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Good night. All right. All right, guys. I think, I think we have enough for today. I hope you guys you did enjoy uh, your time with us. And you have a lot of uh, knowledge of science coming from the books of Islam. As you see, it's amazing. And always I advise you, <clears throat> if you want to be a scientist, make your dream big. Be a scientist like Prophet Muhammad. Don't accept to be a normal scientist. Something big, extreme, extreme deep knowledge, like Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, he knows everything. He is the first scientist ever extremely clever genius speak lang all languages except his own he can write in any language except his own he can tell you where the sperm is coming from which is the location of the necklace of the women he have ability to investigate to dig deep especially when it's about gushing fluid coming from the women very deep thank you very much for being with us and I will see you again, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. And I will see you again. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends. And if you have a question next time, feel free to call. And I will be happy to answer you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we we'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.